Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Now recently I did a community post where I asked you guys for your best myths in City Skylines, preferably engineering related ones. So today we're going to be busting some myths in City Skylines. Now the first one, we're going to need a map with a bit of a river. So I think this one will do Windfield. Right, so on this map we have a flowing river. Now the myth here is that water can't flow through tunnels. Uh, that's quite an interesting one actually. That could change my gameplay in this forever. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the game, then we're going to come down to the landscaping tools, and what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to take a little offshoot away from here. So we're going to come along here, straight down, and then cut back in. Uh, I'm then going to offend some tree lovers. So apologies if you like trees. Boosh, they've gone. All right, so then we know that water is going to flow down here. It's going to go all the way around. Now the question is, if we plonk tunnels in, will that still happen? So I think in order to do this fill in all that land and let's select a big road a six lane one way road because i feel like that will give us the biggest tunnel and uh, basically we're just going to do a straight through tunnel down to there lovely so you can see clearly a tunnel down there so the question is will water come out this side uh, once we let it down so i guess we just just hit play and then we watch the river come down this way <laughs> I feel like a game show host. Like, River, come on down. This is called a tunnel portal, by the way. If you've ever wondered what the opening of a tunnel is called, it's a portal. Um, oh my god. Oh no, I forgot the water flowed back uphill. Oh, poo. Hang on. <laughs> Slight technical difficulties. Let's just suck that water out quickly with the... <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. All right, they seem to be sucking up the water. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be an RCE video if it, if it went well, would it? What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to leave the, the end closed and just open this top end. So there we go. The water is coming back. <laughs> And let's see this time, once the water reaches the tunnel portal, will it come out the other side? So water is entering the tunnel down there. It's definitely gone in. Is it going to come out? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Where are you, water? Well, back over this way, it's, there's definitely water. Definitely water. This side, definitely not. So I feel like, unfortunately, that is... That is myth busted. Uh, but in order to make sure we, we test absolutely everything, I've deleted that tunnel. We'll just make sure we delete the road underneath. Let's try this with railway tracks just to make sure. So you can see I've just let the water through again. We've got a couple of railway tunnels here. Now these ones, they actually look like a lot taller. Um, I'm going to guess the same thing is probably going to happen though. So we'll watch the water enter the tunnel portals on the left. Will they come out this end? No, I've given it a few minutes. Like, there's, they're pretty, they're pretty deep. I'm pretty sure if water went through tunnels, it would have come out now. So, well and truly busted, tunnels do not allow water to flow through them. Right, so for the next myth, we're going to be testing forest fires. <laughs> And we're going to be seeing whether the wind, the wind turbine <laughs> makes the, I'm sorry, this was ridiculous. Whether that fans the fire and makes it spread more. So, oh dear, Matt, what are you doing with your life? So I think what we need, we need two identical forest fires. Or perhaps we could do like a forest fire race. So if we head into tree, we can just turn on the oak tree. So I assume that's going to be a fairly flammable tree. I mean, what? what's a flammable tree? Maybe a giant redwood instead. Is that more flammable? I feel like pine trees are more likely to be flammable, aren't they? Anyway, we're going to be doing a fire tug of war. So let's just fill in all of this. What type of tree did we end up? I assume, I assume that's, is that meant to be an oak tree? That's definitely not a redwood. Definitely not a giant redwood. Anyway, we sort of need a test first to see what way the wind is blowing. So I've planted this windmill down. Let's see. Okay, so it is just blowing that direction. Okay. In which case, I'm going to plant loads and loads of windmills as close as I can on this side and perhaps some on the end to sort of like blow it forwards. And right, then we're going to come to the natural disasters tab and um, we've literally got forest fires. So I'm going to select one to start up this end. Boot. And I'm going to set one down this end as well. And then we can see... Oh my goodness. Is that... That's actually working. I mean, look how fast that one's going compared to the one on the right. What? Windmills do actually... Do they? No, that can't... That can't be right. Look how much faster this one spread. I mean, I want... Do they Do they stop ever? Is this one still spreading? I'm sort of looking at that tree there. Is that going to set a light anytime soon? Yeah, okay. 
still spreading then. I feel like this side is sort of, it's burnt itself out. But that went up so much faster than this one. I'm going to do one more test just because there is a cooldown on the forest fire thing. So I did actually start this one a little bit sooner than this one. So I'll just do an identical strip up here. Oh, look, the wind direction has changed. Say what, we'll put all the windmills down this side this time. I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty sure windmills don't have a direction. Well, if anything, the air comes out the back with these, right? Because uh, the wind is spinning them. They're not creating wind. Right, so we'll start the fire on the same as last time. Look, you'll see, so we got a cooldown. So if I press play, the cooldown reduces. And then I've started that one. So there's only a few seconds different. Yeah, but let's see how the, I mean, I don't, I don't see any fires. Maybe, do I have to wait for this one to go out? Tell you what, let's delete all of these burnt trees. Boosh. That is one way to get rid of a forest fire. All right, and then I guess we'll do this again. So forest fire there. Forest fire there. All right, here we go. Fire raging on this side. Fire going... Oh, it's going... It's going quite a lot slower, actually. Okay, so looking at this, it just looks like the first forest fire burns a lot quicker than the second one, apparently. Despite there only being, like, a couple of seconds difference between the cooldown, I feel like there's definitely not a couple of seconds difference in these fires. The left side is just, I don't know, a lot more flammable for some reason. So, thankfully, myth busted... <laughs> Otherwise, I would be questioning my sanity. Uh, windmills do not fan forest fires and make them burn quicker. Myth busted. All right, so for this next myth, we're back on the tsunami map. Yes, my good old friend, the mega tsunami. Um, and we're gonna be we're gonna be creating a forest fire. So first things first, we need a forest. So I've just done that. And then we're gonna want a few forest fires. So one in the middle, one on the right. And I won't be putting windmills down to fan this to make it go faster. We'll just <laughs> we'll just let it spread at its own pace but the myth is will a forest fire be put out by a tsunami and uh, looking at this it definitely looks like it oh you can see it's sizzling i mean if you watched my last tsunami video you'll know we sort of we did already figure this one out so this is just a hundred percent confirmation forest fires are put out by tsunamis so this myth is confirmed so for this next myth, you might remember the video where I literally drained an entire sea using like some mega pumps. Uh, so this is the map I've just loaded up and this is the result. So this was the beach and basically I, I just did loads and loads and loads of pumps, pushing the sea all the way back to this point. So you can see this is where the sea enters from the edge of the map. I've got pumps all the way around the edge yeah, and then it comes in here. So this was just to like show that like I haven't just blocked the sea off. I was pumping them. Um, but our next myth is can you replace the sea with poo? <laughs> now, I've already got a city built over here. You can see it was fairly efficient, but things didn't go too well. We've got, we've got like fires. We've got no one's got water or anything like that. Uh, it's seen better days, but basically in order to create enough poo to fill... <laughs> To fill the entire sea here, um, we're going to need a lot more cityage. So first off, we're going to need like a, a mega city sort of thing. Um, so I'm sort of thinking if I just, I don't know, do some sort of grid pattern. Yeah, I know grids. If I just fill in a load of roads like this, and then since I've got the infinite demand mod on, uh, we've got very high demand for everything. So basically, if I do, if I paint a load of residential, and then some offices, some shops, and some commercial, then look, everyone is, everyone is building. They're all moving in and stuff. And then I think I can just use the move it mod. So I can select like all of that. And then I can just copy it like next to it. Then just start filling this place in with, loads of buildings and stuff. All right, now because I've copied, I am going to have to fill in like everything sort of all over again with the demand tool. And right, then in order for people to move in, I'm going to have to connect all of these together. Now this is going to be, this is going to be very messy. There's going to be traffic everywhere, but I'm not trying to build, I'm not trying to build an efficient city. I'm just trying to put one together as quickly as possible. So if I just connect like all four corners together, then like all of these are going to be connected together. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. All right, so they're all connected. People who are screaming out for water and electricity. So we'll pipe this up as quickly as we can, which basically just involves zigzagging from side to side and up and down. And we'll just connect these up to the pipe network. And then that should mean everyone has water. In order to give them electricity, we're gonna need like a load of nuclear plants. So let's just shove these in like wherever. All right, then when we press play, hopefully all the warnings should 
Oh man, I didn't <laughs> I didn't realize I was building cities quite that high in the <laughs> look how precariously the buildings look. <laughs> oh, the world's most dangerous construction jobs. Anyway, just gotta make sure these pumps have power. So we'll just put a load of them around the edge, connect up some power lines. All right, and then everyone's reasonably happy, I think. Um, but they won't be for long, because they currently have they have nowhere to poo. Yep, there you go. There's all the warning symbols. They're all struggling to poo because their toilets aren't connected to anything. Now, before we can replace the C with poo, we're going to have to get rid of these pumps on the inside. We will select all those, press delete, same with those. And then finally, I do just need to close this off. So we're not going to have an opening from the C anymore. So let's just shut that up like that and shut this side up like that. Right, so that should mean once we add power to all of these. Oh no, oh no. So adding power suddenly gave us another tidal wave. Now we don't want tidal waves, we want turtle waves down here. Um, so we're probably gonna have to... <laughs> Oh dear. We're probably gonna have to wait for that to settle. I think basically when I turned all these pumps on by placing all the all the wind turbines, which has now been destroyed by the blooming tsunami. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, I think basically when they turned on, it sort of it made made the sea behind very unhappy. It made it all turbulent and stuff. Hence we do have a mini tsunami heading towards our city. Uh, which isn't in a good place. They're they're quite desperate to poon out. Now, but don't worry, we've got the infinite demand mod on, remember, so everyone can be replaced. So it's fine. Fine. Right, anyway, we gotta we gotta start building all of our sewage outlets. We want the water drain pipe, and we're basically just gonna place these all the way along the edge of the map. Now, whilst I'm placing these, it's probably worth connecting them up now. I think I've got yeah, I've got this one connected, and he's he's actually outputting quite a lot of poo water down there. But essentially, I've just got to go through and connect all of these with the fantastic sound effect, which doesn't grate your ears in the slightest after minutes and hours and days of doing this. But yeah, basically, the more outlets I connect up as I build them, the quicker this will actually fill in. All right, so that's all of those connected. Let's see the poo water flow. Oh, look at that. That is a lot of poo coming out of there. Look at... Oh, it's proper filling the sea already. Yeah, essentially, I just want to go around placing all of these all the way along the edge of the map. Now, whilst I can copy a line of them like I just did, they're not connected, so I am going to have to do that manually. I'm sure some smart ass in the comments will say, well, Matt, why didn't you just use this model? Why didn't you just press this button? You would have done it instantly. No, don't care. Don't want to know. Now, we're sort of at the point where not all of these are actually outputting sewage. And look, these ones along this edge, you can see this end, they are doing sewage. But over this end, they're, they're running dry. Now, that basically means we, we don't have enough people. We've got... <laughs> We got to expand our city again. All right, so it's been expanded. You can see most of them are running now. There's the odd one not running, you little naughty architect. Oh, there you go. You turn back on. Good lad. Um, but then we're pretty much we're just gonna we're gonna leave this running and uh, see if we can turn the sea into poo essentially. So I guess we'll leave our city. We'll come over to here. We'll look straight down. Yes, there is there is water in the sea. I'm hoping that's gonna get like diluted by the poo or undiluted. Uh, but if I leave my game like that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play with Paddy for a bit. Uh, so hopefully you'll get a nice little time lapse of this happening whilst I am playing with my puppy. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, hang on, what's up, what's up there? Let's zoom in. Right, so the sewage is coming down, but it doesn't seem to be, why isn't this brown yet? <laughs> I feel like it might be leaking like out the map somehow. Like, I sort of know that this should work because, I mean, I've built a poop volcano. I am master of poop in Engitopia. What? What's going on here? There's definitely some weird glitchy stuff going on. Right, I guess. If I just do terrain height at zero and then maybe I sort of... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the game doesn't like this. It's struggling. Frame rate is like zero. But that should give us some idea. Is the water... I feel like the water's just... Is it just leaking? Well, actually, actually, that looks like it's filling up. Do I just have to go around and do that? All right, let's just check. If this grass gets completely covered, I think we should be good. Wait, wait, where's all, where are you all going? <laughs> this sewage water is like tidal or turtle, I guess you could say. Oh, but look, the, the actual the actual sewage, it, it stops. Does that mean there isn't sewage down here? I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, look, the actual poo only only falls to a certain a certain height. Is that what's happened? Have I made all of this too 
too low maybe right okay let's pick like that height then let's fill everything back in oh my goodness i gotta not i gotta not rupture the walls oh matt what have you done stop <laughs> right i had the wrong brush selected i had like like this soft one and it, it cut through everything i think now we're good if we select that brush make it a little bit bigger yeah, you can see it's got hard edges now. So if we just go along this edge, making sure that sewage, that should land on top, right? Okay, so if we press play on there, what I'm hoping to see uh, isn't that. <laughs> oh, I think I've broken the map. All right, wait, wait. Look, over here, there's a little Poonami. There is Poonami happening. And I would say that is actually... That's actual poo, isn't it? That's filling up. All right, what if we just try and do like this ledge all the way around? I'm just trying to make sure the sewage water doesn't leak through the land. The trouble is, I'm not really sure what's causing it. But does that look better? I think it sort of does. I mean, <laughs> frame rate really, really not happy about this. But since there's a lot of sewage on the green, I think that means our puddles are actually getting bigger. So maybe this is now working finally. All right, well, let's keep going anyway. Worst that's going to happen is I'm going to waste another hour of my life building with poo on city skylines. <laughs> All right, hate to say it, but I think this might be this might be a myth. I mean, I've got one other one other thing I could try. Could literally just place these like on the beach up here. So I've connected these up. I mean, it looks like the sewage just just goes straight into the ground. Now, I don't know if that's just because I've built too much stuff and the game just can't hack it, maybe. But I don't think that is working as intended. I mean, it's not working as it does in Engitopia with my beautiful Pukano. I mean, when I load the original map, I get this. Error, so <laughs> that could be something to do with it. All right, so I've just loaded the map before I built the city, just just to see what's going on, whether it's something funky or whether I don't know the game. I don't think the game wants to give it to me. So can you replace the sea with poo? I think we're gonna have to say that myth is busted. You you can't. I honestly thought you would be able to, but I I can't. I have tried. I have like two hours of time lapse footage where nothing happens. <laughs> Anyway, if there's a myth that you want answered, let me know in the comments what I should be doing next. Now, I feel like we need a few more bridge myths. But yes, for now, I'll say peace, love, and poo water that goes straight through the ground. Bye, guys!